Hi there, it's Trina again. Uh, just wanted to talk with you really quickly about assigning states to objects in your storyline projects. So essentially states are just a way of assigning a different appearance to an object based on how learners interact with those, uh, with those objects. And it's really, really simple in storyline. Let me show you what I mean first. So here we are, um, I've been working on that paleontology project I showed you earlier. And now when I um, click on a step process, or actually when I hover over it, you'll see I've got that nice little hover effect, just a slightly different shade of the same color. Um, and it just gives me that little visual cue of saying, you know, hey, there's something to do here. So let's add this effect to the working version of the project. So here we are back in Storyline. Let's go to the working version and I'll grab this uh, step one button. And um, when you go down here and click on the states tab, you can see all of the states currently assigned to any object on your screen. So right now, all of these just have the single default state of normal. But let's go ahead and add a hover state. We'll do that by clicking on the edit states tab. The next thing we'll do is click on new state. And from the drop down, I'm going to select hover and then add. Now you'll notice that by default, um, this looks the same as the normal state, but we want to change this to have a slightly different appearance so that we get that visual cue for the learner. So the way we're going to do that is just going up here with uh, the hover state selected. We're going to just go ahead and grab um, this object and then we're going to click on more colors. I'm just going to drag this color bar up a bit, maybe about there. And now it, we just have a lighter version of the same shade and that gives us that, that nice little hover effect. So let's preview it really quickly so you can see that it's applied. And there we are, really easy. Now, if you wanted to, you could take it a step further and add additional uh, states for visited or for disabled. Uh, that way you can really, really customize this menu and make it work um, exactly the way that you want it to. And that's really all there is to it. I hope you enjoy working with states in your next storyline project.